Good afternoon, Justin O'Keefe from Talent Force Recruitment. Continue our mission to help parents who are returning to work or simply after more family friendly or flexible roles. Today we're gonna to talk about this dreaded topic that, that most people I know, including myself, absolutely dread, the whole concept of networking and what it, what it, what it all is about. And the switch really flicked with me on, on the topic of networking a number of months ago when somebody was, I was talking to someone about it and they said, you know, networking isn't what we all think of what was happening in the 80s where it was power dressing and shoulder pads and, and business cards. So when you think of it in that context, it's extremely daunting, it's extremely intimidating. And what I prefer to use is, I think we should really probably just ban this word. And really what we should do, we should just refer to it and think about it as simply going out and talking to people talking to people like ourselves. So if we think about it, networking is a context, a lot of baggage associated with it. But if you simply say, we're just talking to people, talking to people like ourselves, that's something we do. It's something we do with the school gate. It's something we've done all, all our professional lives. Now, so the question is, where do you start if networking isn't something you've been doing for a long time? And what I will say, we would suggest is that networking and talking to people is the opposite of passiveness. It's all about getting out talk to people, telling your story. And we would suggest doing is starting with a list, thinking about who would talk to, you, talk to you, who are friends, family, perhaps people you've spoke, spoken with in the past who'd be willing, willing to have a discussion with you. Now, the next topic is having to think about what it is you're trying to achieve from, 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 from each of your discussions. And it can simply be career advice, doing market research, understanding companies. But it's very, very important that you think about is who would talk to me, who would help me achieve my goals, not who will help me and who will give me a job. Because people, when you, when you, when you come to looking for a job, are highly likely, you know, the, barrier, the bar, barriers go up. So who, who would talk to me, who would discuss the market, who would give me advice? And when you think about it, when you ask me for advice, it's actually, it's actually a compliment. You, you're, 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 you're saying you are somebody I respect and admire and whose insights I'm looking for. So for each of your discussions, for each of your conversations you need to have, you really need to have an aim. What is it that I'm trying to achieve, achieve by, by, by speaking with this person? Now, often what you find is, and we would honestly suggest talking, starting with people who are most accessible to you, neighbors, family, friends, people you've done favors with in the past, people who, 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 whom you've helped get, you helped get jobs in the past. So start with the low hanging fruit. And really in many cases, you're not after actually those folks helping you, it's them opening up their network and helping you and, and giving you suggestions on who you, they, they suggest that you talk to. So it's, it's the multiplier effect that you're constantly looking for. So starting with the low hanging fruit um, and then perhaps have a think about, well, what's the best format for this sort of discussion? So the ideal is to sit down and meet somebody for 20, 25, 30 minutes. That is the ideal. In person really, really is superior. Obviously, second best is the phone. It's better than not meeting. And really, email, email is essentially last, last resort. So the more personal the contact, the better. If someone hasn't got time, hasn't got the time to talk to you, so be it. That, that, that's often the case it is. Now, when it comes to meeting someone, you need to give yourself the time to do it, to get in, to meet with them, meet with them in person, to not be hassled, to not be late, um, and to schedule it. We would often suggest email as, as the first introduction, follow, follow it up with a phone call, to say so-and-so, I was speaking with a friend of mine who suggested you might, you might help me. Um, so organize it, a cold call that ambush, maybe perhaps an email is, is best. Where to meet someone? We would try and suggest meeting somewhere informally. If it's a if really what you're after here is is talking to people, you know, a fa uh, calling in a favor. Um, but if it's in someone's office, you know, so be it. It can, it can it can easily turn into a job interview. And then afterwards, have a think about well, should you follow up? And we would say absolutely, you should, absolutely should follow up. Pe people, pe people appreciate that. It's really not done often enough in our experience. People think the transaction is over. So very, very much thinking about networking instead, thinking about it as talking. Think about it as it's going to be something that happens again. If you ever go to a networking event, you'll see people who are just amazing, they're just going around the room. 
And the reason they're like that and they have that confidence is they've done it before. And they know that at the next networking event or, or talking event, that they're going to get to meet these same people again. So it's not a one-off game. This is, this is repeat and it's all about practice going out and talking to people. So networking, very much about starting low, starting with the people that are accessible to you, getting out, talking to them, doing your preparation, have an aim. And it all it's all about confidence and building momentum. Hope this helps. Hope this helps as you get out and you, you talk to people. Uh, feel free to shoot me an email at justin at talentforge.ie or give us a call 01908154. We're always looking to speak to companies that are open to flexible working or great candidates who, who are looking for more flexible jobs. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.